Thank you, Rebecca. Andy Murray's US Open campaign ended this morning with a gruelling four-set defeat by world number one Novak Djokovic in the quarter-final. Wayne Rooney scored as England beat Norway 1-0 in a friendly last night, but he did it in front of a record low attendance at the new Wembley Stadium. Less than 41,000 fans turned up to England's first game since their early World Cup exit. And it's emerged that the TV audience for the match peaked at just 5.5 million, compared to a five-minute peak of 9.1 million for BBC One's Great British Bake Off. Well, that told them. Now, Argentina gained a measure of revenge on Germany for beating them in the World Cup final. They won a friendly in Dusseldorf 4-2. All but one of the six goals were scored by Premier League players. England captain Charlotte Edwards put herself in the record books as the all-time women's 2020 run scorer as she led her team to the women's 2020 international series, beating South Africa by 42 runs at Northampton to lead the three-match series 2-0. Sir Ian Botham has called for the Indian Premier League to be scrapped because it's too powerful for the long-term good of the game. Speaking at an MCC lecture at Lords, the former England captain said the IPL provided the perfect opportunity for fixing and believes players are slaves to the competition. That's all the sport for now. I'll have more in the next hour. Details. Hi there. Hi, Joanna, thank you. Andy Murray said he felt fatigued by the end of his four-set quarter-final defeat by world number one Novak Djokovic at the US Open. The England manager, Roy Hodgson, has admitted that their Euro 2016 qualifying opponents are unlikely to attract big crowds to Wembley. Less than 41,000 fans watched the 1-0 friendly win over Norway last night. They'll play Switzerland, San Marino, Estonia, Slovenia and Lithuania in the qualifiers. Well, England won the game. Argentina gained a measure of revenge on Germany for beating them in the World Cup final. They won a friendly in Dusseldorf 4-2. All but one of the six goals were scored by Premier League players. England captain Charlotte Edwards put herself in the record books as the all-time women's 2020 run scorer as she led her team to the women's T20 international success, beating South Africa by 42 runs at Northampton to lead the three-match series 2-0. That's all the sport for now. We'll have more on the BBC News Channel throughout the day. Thank you very much. See you later.